Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a hand warmer shootout. This is for the high altitude balloon project. I'm going to use these for payload heating. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today we're going to test some hand warmers. Um, we're going to be using these for the payload heating for my high altitude balloon project. We're going to send a balloon and payload up to 100,000 feet or so, and it gets mighty cold up there. So I thought I'd do a comparison on some hand warmers and uh, share them with you guys. The results can be used for, well, anything. Uh, good to know how these things compare. So uh, we'll take a look here at, uh, we're going to look at some some cheap disposable, I think they're an iron oxide based hand warmers. I just got these at the local department store. We're going to look at these reusable style hand warmers. I forget the chemical makeup of these things. Um, they're activated with the metal disc inside and it sets off an exothermic reaction and uh, hopefully we get some heat out of them. Um, what I have here as well, I have a platinum catalytic style hand warmer. This is already ruled out for our high altitude balloon just due to the fact that uh, its catalytic requires oxygen. Um, these are these are debatable. Uh, we'll see how that works out because these also require oxygen. These do not. But I thought I'd compare them all. Uh, I have these. This one's brand new in the box. You can uh, probably even find this on eBay. I've had it for a couple years and I've never used this one. I have one uh, already in use. So we'll uh, we'll fire it up for the first time today and we'll just see how these things compare. So the plan is what we uh, what we'll do we'll take my FLIR i7 uh, infrared camera and we'll just take a look at these over time. We'll time them with a, a cell phone timer and just see we're not gonna get uh, exact measurements of what heat we're giving off um, BTUs but we'll get an idea how long they go and what temperature to expect out of them. So we'll start off, we'll prep this Extreme Gadget Platinum Hand Warmer. Brand new, I never had it out of the plastic. So these have a platinum burner element, hopefully. And what we do is we're going to fill it with, if I can find it here, we'll use some rosinol lighter fluid today. And we'll fill that and uh, we'll get all of them prepped and we'll see if we can take a weight hopefully my scale will work with these and we'll uh, we'll get weight versus benefit here so we'll take my u.s balance scale here hopefully you can see that let's see if we can get a weight on this one looks like we're about 91 and a half grams thereabouts one of these Looking at about 143 grams ish. This is maybe just, yeah, we're um, because it's liquid, it's resting on the scale, but that's pretty close. And uh, one of these hand warmers we'll take, we'll just snip the package so we can get one. And these come in at a measly uh, 26 or so grams, so pretty light. So let's uh, get these fired up. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with this one. This is the uh, the catalytic version. Uh, the instructions say apply a flame to the uh, to the platinum burner element for 15 to 20 seconds, and they say the burner should start. So we've got confirmed ignition here. Looks like we're running about 270 degrees C. Uh, I'm not going to compensate for emissivity of materials, etc. on here, so uh, the purists out there with some infrared knowledge uh, might pick it apart a bit, but this is a relative study, so uh, we'll just leave everything kind of auto-ranging. So we're lit there. We'll close it back up. And if I can find what I did with it, there's a nifty little velvet case that it comes with. Slide it in. With any luck, fit. Perfect. Okay, we'll set that aside. Let's go ahead, and we can probably start our timer now. Oh. 
In the meantime, let that settle for just a second. Let's go ahead and activate this. So what we're supposed to do is just snap this disc, and with any luck, we should see an immediate, you can see those crystals coming out, and we can see an immediate expansion across the, uh, across the, the unit, and I can assure you this is generating heat now. So what we'll do, as the instructions say, we should knead this around just a little bit, make it pliable, and we'll give this one a little bit more of a shake in the meantime. So these things, all three I can vouch for being great if you're out, uh, particularly uh, us Canadians. If you're out where it's cold, pretty much be happy to have any one of these in your pocket if you're uh, out in the bush. I'm going to send probably one of the, each of these up in the high altitude balloon payload to keep the electronics warm at the minus 60 Celsius that it'll be up there. But uh, that's to be determined in my testing coming forward. You'll see that in an upcoming vid. Uh, we'll see, uh, see what happens. We don't want to overheat things and I can vouch for one heck of a pile of heat coming off this thing. So let's take a look and see what we get. Alrighty guys, so we're we're looking at, we're uh, only 3 minutes and 12 seconds in. Let's have a look and see what we get. Obviously the uh, the catalytic end here is uh, pretty hot on this. We're um, even through the bag which hasn't fully heated yet. We're at about 47 Celsius. Here's our little disposable one. Let's see if we can get this a little better on camera. We're looking eh, around 47 Celsius. And then our kind of monster here, the uh, reusable one, we're in the neighborhood of 55 degrees ish. And uh, this thing is just rocking along. So we're going to give this a little bit of time. And uh, I'll come back and we'll do some periodic updates and we'll just see what we get here. Um, from a, a weight standpoint, obviously these two are, are great, they're, they're super light, but uh, this thing is just instant hot. If you, uh, you want to get your hands warm in a rush, uh, this works pretty good. But uh, long term, my assumption is basically after the reaction has gone, I'm thinking this thing is basically fizzled whereas these two are going to continue to generate. Um, let me make sure that I get this thing some air. We'll give it a, hopefully this isn't an unfair advantage, but really need to get some air activity going on through these to set off the, the reaction. So anyway, we'll come back and we'll see what we end up with. So we'll skip ahead to 28 minutes here and uh, we'll see what we get. Hopefully the camera, there we go. If we can get this to focus a little better. We've got some pretty decent saturation uh, heat transfer through the bag on the uh, catalytic version. Cruising along pretty good. It's nice and toasty. Our uh, little iron oxide, or I should look that up, make sure that's what is in there, but uh, our disposable style is really rocking along. And our uh, reusable is uh, doing pretty good too. So not bad, not bad at all. For um, just double check, forgetting two seconds, 28 minutes 50 seconds, so we're doing pretty good. Um, really impressed with these, so let's give it a little bit more time and see what happens. So we're at 54 minutes, take another look. Looking pretty good on the catalytic. Our uh, disposable is really coming into its own there, nice and hot in the center. And it looks like our reusable is uh, steadily dropping off. Uh, I should mention, I wonder if I can catch a shot of it here. Our temperature, our ambient in here, measured on the bench, we're looking at about 23 degrees thereabouts. So we don't have a lot of heat shed in here. There's not a lot of uh, uh, transfer going on. So these things are just free to basically uh, do their thing. Anyway, uh, looks like we're on our way out with that one, and we'll let these go for a little while and see what happens. Hour and 15 in, let's have a look. Looks like our catalytic is cruising along just perfect. 
our uh, disposable is still coming into its own and as expected the reusable looks like we're pretty much topped out on that so uh, good to know we know where they fizzle out and what goes on so we're at the 2 hour 14 minute mark the catalytic heater rolling along strong as ever the uh, disposable pretty much the same and our uh, reusable is pretty much non-existent we're just about down to ambient now so um, I'll maybe try and take some more videos of this through the night but uh, thought I'd share something I totally took for granted um, thought I knew about these disposables but uh, I sure didn't I should have read the instructions so um, no need to shake, which is a lot different than when I was young when I last used these things a long time ago. So, uh, average temperature, we were, uh, they tout about 57C, which is pretty much what we got. Pretty impressive. And a max 69. Uh, I didn't see on here a, a time estimate, but uh, looks like our ingredients are iron water, cellulose, vermiculite, and activated carbon and salt. So pretty basic stuff. Um, on the catalytic, uh, this is kind of the funny little home printed instructions that come with them from the eBay unit, but the junior size, which is which I think, geez, I'd better check this. Huh. I don't remember whether these are the junior or the full size. So if anybody knows, post it in the comments. I, I thought it was the junior size. Uh, about 12 hours at 130 Fahrenheit. I can vouch for this actually working with the other version of these. Um, I'm, I've gotten more than 12 hours out of this. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this video going um, for the entire span of that. But uh, I'll maybe do a couple of more shots. We'll see where it ends up, but for our my high altitude balloon, I think we're going to go with. Uh, I'm not even sure whether I'll bother going with one of these and one of these or not. Even with the high altitude we're reaching, the oxygen level is going to be low at, at max altitude, like down to basically nothing. And this will peter out, and this would more than likely extinguish, in, in my opinion. But. Uh, this isn't even going to get us to max altitude and even in this warm temperature has already shed everything it has for latent heat so um, I'm thinking bang for the buck these are going to be the way to go um, for my use uh, out in the cold weather here in Ontario I simply love these catalytic versions I've never had a problem these things are absolutely fantastic if you don't have one um, think about grabbing one they're uh, totally reusable they come with a spare burner last nearly forever anyway uh, I'll maybe post some more updates as this goes um, or maybe just I'll uh, throw in the description how long it went but uh, that is going to be our high altitude balloon payload that is my hand warmer shootout I'm glad you guys could join me today throw a comment down below hit the uh, thumbs up button if you found this interesting and uh, share this video. I'm really glad to have you guys join me in these uh, in these projects. This one's a little odd, but uh, yeah. Uh, slide over to makeme.org, the mkme.org, my website. Join the forum and uh, join in the conversation. Thanks for watching.